Hey guys, what is up and welcome back. Right now in this video, I have a super exciting one for all of you and that's going to be every single lucky draw coming to the game in season one slash season 14. And I've got to say a lot of these skins coming in these lucky draws are straight fire. So if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, a like goes a long way. And also if you're new around here and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing and joining the family. Now before we actually hop into the video, I do want to give a massive shout out to Data Miners Hall for all the leaks I'm going to show you guys in this video. All the credit does go to them. But anyways, here we go guys. Firstly, here is the first lucky draw and we're going to have the wingsuit slapstick. It's a reskin of that other dope wingsuit we got quite a while back. I like these ones quite a lot. It's a cool glider over there. Moving on guys, over here we are going to have this clown slapstick uh, baseball bat, nice and colorful. Looks very childish though, not going to lie. And then we have one of the most unique legendaries ever in my opinion, the ICR1 Forced Laughter. This thing barely even looks like an ICR1 anymore, it's absolutely crazy. It's also going to be a reactive camo skin which I love. But the way this looks, it's a clown gun. It looks nothing like the ICR-1. It is so freaking fire, guys. I love this over here. Um, it's just so cool. It almost looks like, like an LMG in one of those cartoon uh, first-person shooters. Absolutely crazy. I love that over there. Very good job by Card M on the skin over here if you like the clown vibe of guns over there. Moving on guys, over here we have a parachute in that slapstick camo. Then over here we have it on the S36 and not gonna lie, it looks quite good over here on the S36. Plus we also have it over here on the cluster grenade if you are a fan of BR. That thing looks majestic over there, <laughs> pretty cool. Plus we have quite a nice comedy of error codes. A calling card over here with the new look for Gunzo. That's nice and colorful, looks pretty good. Then guys, over here we actually have a clown in the box, weapon charm, not bad. And then over here guys, we actually have our second ever a snowboard skin in the slapstick skin if you are a fan of snowboarding. I know I am, so I like that over there. And then we have the new look for Gunzo, clown coded. This is dope as hell, but weird as hell at the same time. It's like a futuristic alien. And not gonna lie, again, his head actually kind of looks like a shark with all those teeth. I don't know what you guys think, but yeah, I like that skin. I like Gunzo, and I'm definitely gonna try my best to go ahead and pick this one up over here. But anyways, let's move on to the next draw. So over here, we're starting off with an emote known as Ah, I think it is. I could be wrong with this over here, but it looks like something would go ahead and do if you want to race or something, go ahead and celebrate, wave to the crowd. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that one over there. Moving on, we have a dope breach. Crumbit skin. This thing is nice. It's almost like the cyberspace one, but I've got to say this one's better because it's actually animated. That's a nice looking blue Crumbit skin over there. Moving on, guys. Here is the legendary FR556 Super Highway. Very interesting name, but this is a proper legendary skin. So we have base version over here. It's all white. It looks like an epic version, but then. You get some kills, it goes blue. Nice animation on there. And then, once you actually have four kills, it goes purple, which I love. And then, six kills, that's nice. It's like the color spectrum, but I think it's even better than the current color spectrum we have over there with the white. I like that one a lot, I think it looks good. The overall shape of the gun, the designing, I think it's a nice legendary skin over there. Moving on guys, over here we are going to have an EMP breach skin as well, animated, looking good. Then we have the outlaw over here in the breach skin, not as nice as the others because the animation's only inside the chamber, but it does give quite a cool glowing effect. Then we are going to have the breach parachute over here. We're also going to have the worldwide calling card of the brand new Ether, I think it's called Soldier over there. Then over here we have the Hedron weapon charm and then over here such a sexy looking 50GS uh, breach skin. This 
is just nice. The barrel of the gun has that beautiful blue animation. The white and the black go together so nicely. That's a top level uh, 50 GS skin over there. And then over here, guys, we have the new Ether or Ether network skin. And just to be honest, I'm not familiar with this soldier over here. I don't know where she's from, what card she's from. Is it a card mobile exclusive? Let me know down below in the comment section. But overall, a nice looking female soldier over here. Definitely hits all the checks for futuristic and fits nicely with the theme of the season. On some more guys, over here we have the Valentine redux draw firstly we have the heartbreaker calling card not gonna lie kind of on the plain side for being a legendary then over here we have the phobus baseball bat the phobus skin nice animation so dope to have it on a melee item moving on guys over here we have the return of the s36 phobus back in the game all the way from last year uh, valentine's day then guys, we have the Phobus Backpack 1 over here, also solid animation. Then we have the Valentine M16 that used to be in a crate, now it's going to be in the Lucky Draw. I've always loved the way the design and the body of this M16 looks, so I'm hoping to pick it up this season. Then we have the Phobus over here on the motorcycle, and that's nice because usually... All the bike skins and vehicle skins for BR are never animated, so I do like this over here. On some more guys, and this is super interesting. The ICR1 Phobus is coming to the game. We've known about this gun since last year, and it was never released at Valentine's Day. Now it's finally coming out, and I'm really hoping to pick this one up over here. Very, very cool skin. On some more, we got a trip mine over here in the Phobus skin. On some more, guys, we have this heart spike weapon charm over here. Definitely not an inviting heart. It's completely covered in spikes. Yeah, it looks dangerous. Not loving to me. But anyways, on some more, guys, we have the return of Battery Half Pipe Valentine. And this skin over here used to be a lot cooler when it came out the first time because since then we actually got a very similar skin for free in the rank rewards but still she's returning and let me know if you guys are hyped about that moving on here we actually have a potion drinking emote and this potion is definitely not agreeing with this soldier over here so yeah moving on over here we have the return of the folding knife in the mer skin and this is a nice animation again and you guys know i like purple so obviously this is right up my alley nice stuff and then we have the particle splitter sks legendary skin and one thing i've noticed whenever we have a legendary marksman rifle they make the gun futuristic like this over here it literally even has wings on there it has like this purple like radiating off the gun yeah, quite a nice legendary SKS over here. Let me know what you guys think of that. Moving on, guys, over here we have the Murr on the MW11. Kind of underwhelming, very little animation on that over there. Then over here we have the QQ9 Murr. And then over here we also have the Oxygen uh, backpack in the Murr design over here. Moving on, we have a calling card legendary with the new design of the Witch Doctor. And then on some more, we do actually have the whole new Witch Doctor's face over here as a weapon charm. So, okay. And then on some more, guys, we're going to have a smoke over here in the Murr skin. And then finally, guys, over here, we do have the Witch Doctor in the wrong medicine outfit. And this, I think, is a top five skin for me in season one. I just love it. The purple on here, the whole cloak over his whole body, it just goes together so freaking well. It looks spooky and mysterious and just overall the whole skin just checks out and everything goes together very well. I'm a fan of this one over here. Like I said, top 5 for season 1 in my opinion, the skin over here. On to the next draw guys, again we're going to start out with an emote, this guy's whole right arm is on fire, so RIP to him. Then we're going to have the return of the meltdown skins, first here over here on the knife, and then we actually have the return of one of the most popular legendaries ever, the AK-117 meltdown is back, one of the best reactive skins in the game, hands down. Over here we're also going to have the meltdown on the wingsuit. Plus, we're going to have it on the HD40 returning to the game. On some more guys, we're going to have it on the Thermite over here as well. Then we're going to have a calling card. And again, 
I don't know, but it's very simplistic as being a legendary. Just my opinion on that. Then we have the skull drip weapon charm. I believe it's a skull in a rose. That's what I'm seeing at least. And then we do have the parachute in the meltdown skin. And then finally, guys, we do have the return of Seraph Sakara. Back in the game, it goes very well together with the AK-117 Meltdown. They were really made for each other. Now for the final draw over here, guys. First, we have the M4 LMG over here in the Demolition skin. It's basically a gold skin, which has like a very bright, fireish gold burning through the skin onto the surface. So it's quite nice. We're also going to have that over here on the RUS. Then we have the ASM-10 Automation over here. Quite nice. Interesting fact about this gun it actually came out on the chinese version quite a while ago next guys over here we have the sticky grenade also in the whole demolition skin and then we have the return of firebreak carrot thief for i don't know how many times brought back to the game now and the weird thing about it this time there's no way to go ahead and get the whole outfit for the specific carrot thief over here which is the whole bunny rabbit outfit so i don't know how you are going to go ahead and get those in this drawer. Very, very weird. On some more guys over here, we're going to have the smoke in the demolition skin. And then over here, we have the AK-47 also in the demolition skin. On some more, we have a J-358 in the demolition skin. Then over here, guys, we have the knife again in the demolition skin. And then finally over here at the end, guys, the final item is the AC-40 in the automation skin. And I do want to say, I actually like this one over here more on the AC-40 compared to the ASM-10, even the sights kind of look like horns, so nice, I guess. And then I do want to say again, this has been the Chinese version for quite a while as well. So overall, this over here was my least favorite draw, only epics throughout the whole draw, which is kind of interesting, but yeah, not my favorite by any means. But anyway, guys, that's going to be all the lucky draws coming to the game in Season 1 slash season 14 what do you guys think of that are you hyped or not which is your favorite let me know down below in the comment section i would love to know but anyway guys that's going to be all for this video thank you so much for watching and for all the support i really hope all of you enjoyed this video but for now that's all from me and stay tuned to the channel because there's still a load of videos dropping later today for now squally out and cheers bye